Hey guys, it's Anastasia Blonder here for Art Inspirations, your weekly inspiration for art. Um, today we are doing a tea and coffee art inspiration, and I had never really painted with tea and coffee until I did this, so this was kind of like a fun testing out, trying out different things. I got some like instant coffee from the dollar store, some black tea from the dollar store as well, and then I already had some Australian tea from a friend of mine that got sent to me, so I have just a few things to play with. And I definitely found out very quickly, I was testing out the colors here just to see, you know, what they would look like. And the Australian tea definitely won out very quickly. <laughs> it was probably the darkest. Even like, I mean the coffee was good, but I feel like the Australian tea, like there's something about it. It just has a great color and a, con a great consistency too. Um, so here I just kind of went with the fact I love an I love different creatures and animals and so I did I was going with a lynx idea and it kind of turned into a wolf cat creature. Um, but I was just kind of starting out layering. I didn't pencil out a design or a sketch, and so I was like, you know, I'm just gonna try and see what I can do. Um, but yeah, for this art inspiration, it's kind of all about, you know, playing with what you have. I'm actually considering doing a Dr. Pepper soda art kind of challenge going on, and so I'm probably gonna be doing that really soon. I don't know how it'll turn out, but, you know, might as well try it. I've been wanting to do it for a while now. If you hear a beeping or a, you know, different thing, I have one of my, uh, smoke alarms apparently has decided that its battery's gone out, so please excuse that <laughs> in the background. Um, so yeah. One of the things that I think is really interesting about the coffee and the tea is the fact that it was, like, super interesting of the layers that you could create. The layers and the depth of like story that you could create with these mediums. I mean, in a way it kind of reminded me of working with uh, makeup because I, I didn't feel like makeup was gonna be that useful and then it turned out to be a really, really great uh, tool for creating this. Um, so with that said, uh, I don't know if there's too much to tell you right now, but I'll come back at the very end and let you know some other little going-ons of the rest of this video. So, thanks for stopping by, guys, and hope you enjoy the rest of the video.
Hello again, guys. So I wanted to come at back ugh, <laughs> at the very end of this video and just say that I actually made another batch during this video of um, coffee with a little bit less water in it so that it had a little bit thicker, darker consistency. And that's kind of what you see more prevalent on this. And then right here where it changes, the reason it looks lighter is I put it in the microwave, which I figured would either screw me or work, and it actually worked out really well. So if you have, you know, where it's not drying of coffee and tea painting, put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds or less, and it really does help just make sure that everything kind of goes down. You can get, if you have big enough pockets of coffee where it's a little bit um, crystallized, it has a shiny consistency, which if you want that, it works great. Um, but just be aware of that when you're, if you want to avoid that. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. If you do anything like this, be sure to hashtag AB Art Inspirations on Instagram or anywhere, and be sure to like and subscribe to see more videos every week. Thanks for stopping by, guys!